Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. So this is going to be card review for the upcoming black card, which is Pompeii. So Pompeii is going to be the new black card series that is going to be released. It's a Fire Machina team, a Fire Machina card. Right, so let's take a look at her skills. Right, so what you're seeing here is her leader skill. Right, so basically it reads Fire and Machina attack times 4. So we can play either a mono fire team or a mono machina team right, based on whatever setup that you're using. So when the same combos of water fire runes are dissolved at first batch, right, so take note of the first batch only, each machina member launch one extra attack of respective attribute as much as 50% of self attack. Right, so what this means is you have to dissolve uh, the same number of combos of water fire earth rune to activate this particular part of the leader skill. Right, so for example, one set of water, one set of fire, and one set of earth. Right, so the number of runes within that combo doesn't matter. Right, so just the number of combos have to be the same. So each machina member launches one extra attack respect of their respective attribute, right, of fifty percent self attack. So if you're playing leader and ally Pompey, that's going to be two extra attack per machina member. Right, so overall, I think that this is going to be a super. A, a team that is going to be very very high on extra attacks right <laughs> this is not going to be the end of her um, extra attack skills right so we're going to move on to a team skill which have a ton more um, damage output right, so as you can see here the fire the total multiplier here is 16 times which don't seem to be super high for black um, black gold card right? but we'll take a look at her team skill before you make any judgment on Pompey okay so what we have here is a long essay of uh, Pompey's team skill, right? So you can see there is effect number one, two, three, four, and five, right? So there is a lot of team skill going on here, right? So let's go one by one. So on the left, number one, when the team consists of only Machina members, active skill minus two for members with max skill at level uh, at CD eight, right? So what this means is that uh, if you have a Machina member and it's at CD uh, max skill, right? And then the max skill happened to be at a CD of eight. Is going to be reduced to two, right? So, uh, this this means that um, Pompey, right? We will take a look at her active skill later, right? It's at CD eight. So if you are using dual Pompey, so that's going to reduce Pompey's uh, CD to six. Right? So here it mentions CD minus two. So I believe that it's going to be a permanent uh, CD reduction instead of those that kind of reduce your CD upon entering the battle. Right, so this is going to be per permanent reduction, meaning that it's going to be a CD6 active skill instead of CD8. Right, so we do have a few CD8, um, CD, CD8 skills right, for some cards out there. Right, one example is Li Teguai. Li Teguai upon max skill is at CD8. Right, uh, another example is Mobius uh, upon max skill. She's at CD8 as well. Right, so the other one, uh, Cyborg Scholars, right, Agnesi, uh, the Fire Cyborg Scholar, or in fact, all the cyborg scholars out there are at CD8 upon reaching max skill. Right, so these are all potential cards that you can put in for a Pompey team. Right, so let's take a look at effect number two. Effect number two basically means that hard runes possess effect of fire runes. Right, so this is gonna be uh, an extra attacking rune for Pompey. Right, not just only fire runes, but hard possess effect of fire. So on top of that, every six round, uh, every round six random position will be marked. Right, so these mark positions are basically something similar to Xia Ho Tun from the Warlock 2 series, right, meaning that it's gonna be positions that are being highlighted, right? But in, in cases like Xia Ho Tun is gonna be, it's always at the top right hand corner of the board. But in Pompey's case it's gonna be six random positions on the board. Right, so every turn the random position is gonna change. Right, so if you dissolve every rune within that mark position, Right, Pompey is going to launch an extra fire attack as much as 40% of self attack damage. Right, so this will stack together with the leader skill, which means that Pompey is going to attack a lot of times. Right, so here, uh, for every rune dissolved in the marked position, so I mentioned that just now, six random runes, six random positions will be marked. So if you dissolve all six positions, there's going to be six extra attacks. Right, so this is going to be massive. Right, and then number three. Effect number three is rune movement time increased by two seconds, right? So which is pretty normal now. Nowadays, all the black cards have all these uh, extended rune movement time for our spinning pleasure. <laughs> okay, so 
<coughs> for effect number one, two, three, like the triggering condition is to use Pompey as leader and ally to trigger. Alright, so that's gonna be all the team skills on the left hand side. Alright, so let's take a look on the right. So on the right, we have effect number four. Makina members will have their HP, attack, recovery times 1.6 times. Alright, so as we all know, Makina have very shitty HP, attack, as well as recovery. Right, it can't really beat any other race out there. So this kind of fix the problem here, right? Giving it an extra 1.6 time HP attack as well as recovery. So uh, to trigger this, you need to use Pompey as leader and ally, but as well as the team consisting of four or more Machina members, uh, which is not really that hard to achieve because Pompey being uh, having Pompey as leader and ally, that's already two Machina in the team. Right, so basically what you can put in is might be uh, Smilodon, uh, which is a fire Machina as well, and maybe Li Tie Kwai, or Agnesi, as I mentioned earlier, right, that fulfills four or more Machinas in the team. Right, so effect number five is basically what we have for the basic Machina um, effect, which is the fuel gauge. Right, so upon reaching 100% uh, fuel, they have an increase in stats, attack stats. Right, so this applies to Pompey as well. Right, so you can see that um, Overall, they do have a lot of conditions to fulfill, but if you fulfill all the conditions, uh, Pompey's damage output can be very, very uh, potent. Right, so uh, these are pretty much the team skills for Pompey. Right, so let's take a look at her active skill. Right, so what you can see here is the active skill for Pompey. So you can see, uh, he said, the active skill is at CD8. So as I mentioned just now, uh, Machina members in which having its max, max skill, Right, at CD8, it's going to be reduced by 2 CD. Right, so this card here, technically, if you're playing dual Pompey, in which you should, uh, her active skill should be at CD6 right, permanently. So that's going to be a very, very good and fast convert there. Right, so active skill converts all rune into fixed amount and positions, right, meaning that it's going to be something similar to mine from the King of Fighters series, right, fixed positions. Convert all runes into fixed amount and positions of enchanted water, fire, and earth runes. Right, on top of that, for one round, it ignores puzzle shield. And so this is one of the more unique effects um, that appears in TOS, right, whereby active skill actually ignores puzzle shield. Right, we do have active skill that ignores initial shield, which is AR John from the 12th Zodiac series, right, but we have no active skill so far that actually ignores Tetris or puzzle shield. Right, so uh, in any case, if you were to bring in other teams as well, to counter Tetris shield, you might want to use Pompey as a member, right? So this can actually deal with the Tetris shield as well, right? So, uh, yeah, that's basically all for this uh, Pompey card, right? So basically, if you dissolve or if you use this active skill, right, it's gonna fulfill um, all the six random spots as you can see in the team skill there. So overall, the team damage is gonna be really, really massive for Pompey. Right, so overall, I feel that Pompey is going to be a card that's going to be very potent, especially the more Pompey you have, the more uh, burst power you have. Right, so imagine if you have the mono, if you have a mono Pompey, right? Because as I mentioned, uh, Pompey CD is going to be minus two, right? Meaning that this guy here is going to be on CD six. So if you run a mono Pompey, you literally can activate Pompey every single turn, right? Once it's ready. So um, yeah, there's uh, something you can think of if you have the amount of money to draw a mono Pompey setup. Right, so overall I find that this card here is pretty much gonna save fire team. Right, not only save fire team but save the Makina race as well. Right, Makina have been out for quite a while, right? Now recently we don't really have much faith on Makina yet because of their unstable damage output. So Pompey here is gonna be um gonna save the day right for fire team as well as the Makina team. Right, so I can't wait to draw her as well. Right, so overall this is gonna be the card review for Pompey, right? So uh, those of you who are attempting to draw Pompey, all the best to you. So I guess Madhead have just released a news, right? Saying that um, there is a guaranteed draw rate for Pompey now. So on the 40th draw, you are guaranteed to get a Pompey, right? So that's going to be uh, the minimum. The minimum you need is going to be uh, two, 200 diamonds, right? To get this Pompey card. Right, so all the best to you guys. Hopefully you can get it in within the first... 10 draw or the second 10 draw, right? So that's gonna be the most ideal for all players out there. Right, so that's all for today's card review. Right, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.